Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can optimize your server to get the best performance. In the first part of the video we'll be looking at any server, then we'll move on to just bucket and spigot servers and then finally modded servers. So the first thing you can do for any server is head to files and what we're going to do is we're actually going to lower the render distance because the default value is quite high and you probably won't need that much. So we're going to go to server.properties and find the tag of view distance which you can see here. The default value is 10 which is quite high. We recommend the value of about 6, this means it's not too low so your server's disadvantages by it but it's not too large that it actually damages your server from performance issues. So once you've done that you want to press save file return and we're going to go ahead now and we're going to restart the server and then these changes will take effect. So now moving on to just bucket and spigot servers, if we have a look at this, this is paper spigot. Now it's basically an extension to bucket and spigot which allows a better optimization and better performance from your server and the best thing about it is but spigot and bucket plugins will still work on it so no matter what you can still use their plugins with paper, it's backwards compatible so it's a really great tool. Now to install it all you want to do is head to download, download the latest build and upload the jar file and install it like you did your normal spigot jar file. We have guides on this on our channel and on our help desk as well so you can use them if you need help installing it any jar file but you can go ahead and download that and install that straight to your server and it will work just fine. Now the next thing you can do for bucket and spigot servers is use a plugin. This plugin is called Clearlag and you can see it here. I'll also leave a link to this in the description so you can download it with ease. Now what what this does is it provides you many useful commands and automated systems that just generally help so it clears entities kills mobs so that if they're getting too stacked up then just causing general TPS issues you can really get rid of them really quickly and it just sorts all your lag issues out now there's probably many plugins like this on Spigot but this is the best one that we've found and recommend you use this one but you are welcome to use any other ones and they should work just as well. Now the next thing we can do for modded servers now, this is for modded servers, is use a mod called Better FPS. As you can see it's a very popular mod and there are many mods like this but what this does is it uses many improvements on different algorithms and different small optimizations on your server so that you can just run the best server and have the best performance from it. It gives you a list of what it actually does and it affects both client and server side. So not only should your client run faster, but the server itself should run faster as well. So again, all you have to do for this one is just download the mod file and drag and drop into your mods folder and you're done. As long as you've got Forge installed, if you need help Forge installations, we've got a guide for that on our channel as well. But these are some very simple things on what you can do to actually improve your server's performance. I hope this helps and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the description or contact our support team. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video.